Hello, Houston! Woo! Okay, I have to honest. Oh, double mic. Oh. I need a mic? I just screamed. No. Hello, Houston! Like, come on! So, I have to honestly tell you that I have been visualizing this moment. Thank you. Thank you for being here. You are a gift. And it's funny, the, the theme is already going. We are a gift. We are a gift that the world needs. You are a gift. So I want to thank you for giving a gift to yourself today. A gift of time. A gift of investing in you. A gift of opening your mind to the possibilities of your potential of what the world needs because you are the gift. Mm -mm -mm. So before we get started, I wanted to, um, I know we all came here yesterday, crazy, maybe this morning, but it's so important for us to get in a heart set of a place where we can receive, right? And there's a ton of emotions. You got kids at home, you got all the things that you left. So I want you to put your feet on the floor, put your notebooks and such aside, just get comfortable and close your eyes and we're gonna just do some breathing exercises to really get ourselves in that posture of receiving. So we're gonna breathe in deeply through our heart. One, two, three, four, hold and Exhale, release, two, three, four. Breathe in through your heart, peace. Breathing in peace. And exhale all the stresses of travel, of all the things that you left at home. And take another deep breath in, and this time let's breathe in love. Mm. Through your heart, love for yourself, and let's exhale out all the thoughts and worries. Your kids and your husband will survive without you, I promise. Let's breathe in again, a deep breath through your heart. Let's breathe in hope, the hope of what is going to happen inside your heart because you're here today. And exhale all your doubts and fears and the things that have held you back in the past. And let's exhale all the lies that we have let hold us back. Exhale all of those things, all of it. Are you ready to receive? All right, so a little bit about myself. I am a Wisconsinite, I'm a cheesehead, and I am a six-figure direct sales marketing leader. Um, I'm also a, thank you, I'm also a mom of five, almost adult kids, I mean, most of them are adults, and um, I really found that I started my transformation because of my journey with direct sales. We were homeschooling our four kids that were um, at home, and it was like I needed something for me. And it was a great way for me to get introduced to um, just a chance to make some extra money for our family. So. So what I didn't realize was that I was stepping out into this arena um, and my direct sales experience has been fabulous. And so um, it was a, a chance to feel supported, to step out and try new things and just grow in who I was, right? Because we all wear the hats of mom. We all wear the, well, not all of us, but most of us have the hats of mom, wife, you know, employee. You've got it all, right? And those are the expectations that are put on you by others. But what about you? That's where my transformation started. I love to learn. I 
I fell in love with all of the learning um, that direct sales provided. And literally, that was where I would say my transformation started. But I want to give the analogy of the butterfly. So the butterfly starts as a caterpillar, right? And so I, I think I started my direct sales experience much like a caterpillar. It was all about consuming. I wanted to know how do I sell. I want to know about the products. I want to know all the things, right? And then I did it. I put, pulled up my bootstrap. I took risks, and I did something I'd never done before. And, but it was a lot of chewing, right? That caterpillar is just growing, growing, growing. It was do, 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 do. Just pure guts and grit, right? It's like show up and do the do. But it was, was when I um, found Julie and joined her program that I really feel like I started to enter the chrysalis. And I'm still there in a lot of ways. Um, that was where, instead of all the do, I started being exposed to, Lisa, what do you want? I honestly had never asked myself that question before. I mean, I'm really being honest, right? As a mom, you, you're always thinking of everybody else. And, and it wasn't, and then, and then she clarified it. Lisa, what do you want? It, it's not what you think your husband should think you should want. <laughs> it's not what your kids expect you to want. It's what do you want for your life? <sighs> that was a big question. And I started really taking that serious. And that's when I started doing um, my morning routine. And instead of the caterpillar version of the morning routine, check the box, read this, do this, journal, pray, all the things, right? That's the caterpillar version. I went to the chrysalis version, and I went, okay, God, how have you equipped me? How have you made me that I can be of the best value and, you know, give the most just because the way you've created me? And I started getting quiet, and I started asking, what? do you want, Lisa? <laughs> and, and as I sat there, my vision expanded. It was like inside the parts of the chrysalis, that butterfly, like they just started to move. I've always dreamt on my vision board, um, I've always wanted to live on a lake, have a house on a lake. And all of a sudden, as I got quiet and I started meditating and just started really getting in touch with not my head, but my heart, my vision of my lake house expanded. And I, all of a sudden, I'm like, what? A house on the ocean? I'm like, whoa, that would be something. And then my head chattered and went, oh, that's a million dollars. You're never going to be able to afford that. Blah, 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 blah. You know, like the chatter went. But I'm like, no, I'm just going to honor that. I'm going to honor that and let that sit in my heart. So I did. And, and then as I was continuing to get quiet, I said, I don't know. Like, I mean, a house on a lake would, or a house on an ocean would be fabulous, but... Like, is that selfish? Like, you know, how many, how many weeks am I actually going to be there? And, you know, like, I don't know. The, the head was chattering. And in the midst of getting quiet, my purpose that I really believe is forthcoming is that my house on a lake, on an on a ocean, um, is a retreat center. It's a retreat center where women like you can come get quiet, get in touch with your heart, and get healed, have revelation, get unstuck, all of the things that I don't think are out there on our normal daily basis. Let's face it, right? We're the caterpillars most days. And that, that was all because I sat and allowed myself to get in touch with my heart, with my 
desire, with my, my gifts and talents and how God has wired me. Um, so that began, and it started to really expand my, my vision. Um, and that's when other things happened. I went to Nashville last year and met some incredible ladies that literally like bond instantly, right? You've already met some of them here. Um, and I met Kelly Armstrong, where are you? Woohoo! And Sarah Carlisi, there you are. And we, because of Geo, pushing us out of our box. We're like, okay, you're a power pod. We were all in direct sales at the time. I mean, we still are. And we started, um, we interviewed with her on her podcast as this power pod. Well, that expanded and now we have a podcast of our own. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's right. So our podcast is called Wake Up and Dream Podcast. Don't you love it? I know. Mm. So subscribe, listen, like, all the things, right? We want to, we would love to have you. Um, but that vision is even expanding and growing as we continue to get quiet and ask those questions. Um, the other thing, it's just incredible, right? The transformation that happens when we really do get quiet. And I think one of the biggest things that I have learned in the last year, year and a half, is valuing that, right? I value my to-do list. It's gotta get done, <laughs> it's gotta get done. But do I have on my to-do list to get quiet, to take time for me, to listen to my heart? Uh, that's some of the transformation that has happened in me because of Julie's program. So. Um, as we begin our day today, I want to share with you what I received as a, what I call a divine download. Um, you are a gift, and you are the gift the world needs. So I want to just share with you four things that are going to help you to realize that you are the gift that the world needs. So G stands for exactly that. You are a gift. There is no one in this entire planet that is like you. God put in you gifts, talents, desires that are unique to you. And because of that, you may have a million, there might be a million people doing the same coaching business or the same, it doesn't matter. Because you are going to attract those people that need the gift that only you can provide to them. You are that gift. So I, I love that. I love that. So that's gift. That's the G. The I stands for inspire, influence, and impact. Woo, the three I's, right? So we all have people. I mean, look around. You're going to be inspired and have aha moments today just because you're here. But expand your vision and think about who do I want to influence? What kind of impact do I want to have on the world? One life at a time. You have that gift inside of you to make a really incredible impact. Influence lives, pour in hope. The world needs it. And you have that inside of you. Mm, so good. And honestly, the key is to stay in your heart, right? Because when we think uh, all the things, my, my vision of that house on an ocean, if I would have stayed in my head, it, it wouldn't have stuck. That's a burning desire that I have. The F, I'm sorry, the F is face your fears with faith. Another F, you know, I'm kind of into the 
into the letters. So where is fear? Right here. Our fears are in our head. So when you start being aware of your thoughts and you're like, oh, that could never happen. I've never done that before. I, I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. That's your head talking. And we need to shut down the head and get in our heart because there's no fear in your heart. That's powerful. So when we stay in our heart, we actually stay in alignment with what we're meant to do, right? We're able to receive those divine downloads when we stay connected to our heart. So I wanna encourage you, today you're gonna hear a lot of information, you're gonna dig deep, you're gonna be digging in, but we're digging into our heart today. The head is gonna chatter. It's just how we're made. So we gotta shut down the chatter and stay connected with our heart. The T, are you ready? Find your tribe. Guess what? We're it, yay! Find your tribe and embrace transformation. So this is your tribe. You don't have to look any farther. If you want like-minded, visionary, goal-oriented, powerhouse ladies, they're here. You're here, right? Amen. <laughs> so, so think about it, but not everybody is in your tribe. And I want you to be aware of that because there are always going to be the negative Nellies, the doubting Thomases, and I forgot what my last one was, um, my, the scaredy cat Sallies. Mm -hmm. The scaredy cat Sallies. They're going to be the ones that are chattering. You, this isn't going to work. You've never done this before. You know, like, we've all had them, right? You got those people? Those are not your tribe. You have to set clear boundaries, limit your time and influence of them, because you're a gift. And you have a gift to give. And guess what? All of those people over here, they just safely want to tiptoe to their dying day. And the sad reality is they want you to do the same. They are not your tribe. We are the tribe, right? So find those people connect while you're on break, while you're here, find those people um, and connect. So the transformation, embrace it. When you think about that chrysalis, it's gooey, <laughs> it's messy, it's not comfortable. I mean, can you imagine that caterpillar shoved in that thing? Like, it's not comfortable. And it's vulnerable. But the only way that beautiful butterfly of you and the gift is able to emerge from you is staying in that zone of transformation. It really, it really is there. So I am really thrilled that we are all here together. I am so excited. And I want you to just literally take this in, open your mind, open your heart, because you are a gift. The gift is in you. The gift is something you get to give. We want to inspire, impact, and influence the world one life at a time. Face your fears with faith, belief that it is you that the world needs. And find your tribe and embrace the transformation. You, each and every one of you, 
are the gift this world needs. Thank you.